In the following example, I'm going to show you how to harmonize a simple melody using the Harmony Builder Set Melody panel. So we start off with a simple melody. Let's listen to it. And uh, the first step is to find a chord for the first beat. And that's always a manual operation. We have to decide where we're going to start. Now we're in the key of E minor, so uh, I'll harmonize this E melody note with an E minor chord. So I'll select the bass note and press E on my computer keyboard. That places an E in the bass, then I move up to the tenor and press a G twice to get it in the right octave. And then my up arrow key and B. So now I have a an E minor triad in the first beat. Now the next note I want to harmonize is probably going to be this F sharp over here on the third beat. And as you see when I select it, the chord selector shows me all the chords in the chord wheel which will harmonize that melody note. So I have all these options. Um, I I can really use just my mm, my taste, or I can also think about building tension. So, uh, moving up the uh, chord wheel, the higher the chord in the chord wheel, the higher the tension. So, I'm going to choose this chord here. This is a three chord. I like the sound of it. It's got a, an augmented fifth, which gives it a sort of a minor sound to it, uh, quite a, a biting sound, and in order to uh, generate a chord, the program needs to look at the previous chord in the previous beat in order to uh, find the best possible voice leading options. And as you can see, there is no chord here, so we need to make sure there's a chord in this position right here. We can either in insert the notes manually or uh, simply make the notes in the first beat longer, which is what I'll do and all I need to do is to press the right angle bracket key on my computer keyboard. That will turn the quarter notes into half notes. So now we have a, a chord on the second beat, so we can now generate a chord for the third beat, and I'll select the this chord uh, in root position, and uh, first choice. I have two choices. The first choice has root third, fifth, and seventh. The second choice has root third, double root, and seventh. So I'll go for the, the first choice, click Find, and I get these four options. Now I have to choose the option which has the, the F3 melody note, not the F4, that's an octave too high, and uh, the bass note I want to have the higher of the two, the G2. So it's that choice there. And now I can click this button and add the chord to the score. And here again I want to extend those uh, notes to cover the fourth beat as well. So I press my right angle bracket key for the bass, tenor, and alto. Good. Now I can move over to the next melody note to be harmonized, which is an E, E3. And here are my options. Um, all these chords will harmonize an E. Now, as I said before, I want to build tension, so I want to select a chord which is as high as possible in the chord wheel, and that would be this chord. This is a minor 7 flat 5 chord, and I'll put it in root position and first choice and I'll click Find, and the program gives me these options. I'll uh, have to select the one with an E3 in the melody, and preferably the higher bass note, the F-sharp 2. So that's our choice, and I add that. I'll make the bass, tenor, and alto longer, so that they extend into the second beat. And now we can harmonize the F-sharp here. 
Again, we have the choices shown in the chord selector. And I'm going to, well, uh, I can either choose one of these chords here, or a 5 or a 5-7. Uh, any one of those is good. I think I'll go for the 5-7. And I'll, I can either put it in root position, or in first inversion, or in third inversion. Now, if I put it in root position, the the bass note is going to go quite quite low to a B1, which is sort of a big jump from the from this note here from the F sharp two. So it would be probably better to select first inversion so that the interval jump of the bass note is a little smaller. So I find I need to select the note that I'm harmonizing and first inversion, first choice, find. And here are my choices. Uh, F sharp 3 with a D2 in the bass. Good. And then we move over to our final E melody note. And we want to resolve now the tension, so we'll select the low, the lowest button on the chord wheel, which is a, a one chord, root position, first choice, find, and we have this first uh, chord here, which has the E3 in the melody. And we'll add that to the score. So we'll just add a couple of tie lines, which disappeared during the process of reharmonization. And let's listen to the final result. So there you have it, a reharmonization of a simple melody using the set melody panel. Thank you for listening.